Philip Coutinho to Manchester United. Now, there is a sentence I never thought I would say, but that's what we're seeing in the transfer gossip columns this week. Ex-Liverpool player Coutinho is being linked with a big move to Manchester United because he's frustrated at Barcelona. But where are these stories coming from? Where did they originate? Is there any sort of reliability to them? And Coutinho at United, really? What I'm going to do for you in this video is run through the full story of the Coutinho to United transfer rumours. Tell you where they've come from, identify whether they're reliable or not, or just transfer gossip. And then going to give my own thoughts on whether Coutinho at United would make any sense whatsoever. Now before we get into the video, make sure you subscribe to United People's TV if you're new. And today, it's my 30th birthday, so give me a sympathy subscribe. Come on, I'm 30 now. I'm old. If you're a regular, make sure you drop a like on the video anyway, but let's get straight into it. Before we take a look at the rumours themselves, it's important to understand why these rumours may have emerged. Now, Coutinho moved to Barcelona from Liverpool for £142 million, there or thereabouts, with add-ons, etc. A fucking lot of money. And it really hasn't gone to plan for Coutinho at Barcelona, which is exactly why these stories have emerged. With Iniesta retiring, Neymar leaving, Barcelona spent big on Ousmane Dembele and Philip Coutinho. Two replacements to bring in there, but it really hasn't gone to plan. In 39 appearances this season for Coutinho, he's got eight goals and five assists, which isn't the worst return in the world, but it is for a player that's cost over £100 million. And it's bad for Coutinho at Barcelona. It's gotten so bad that he's getting jeered by his own fans. The Barcelona fans at the Nou Camp are jeering and booing Coutinho. It's reached that point. That's how poor it's going for him in Spain. And all of these frustrations from Coutinho, from the fans in Barcelona, have allowed these stories to originate. But when did they start? When did United first get linked with Coutinho? The Coutinho to United link started back in January 2019 when it was the Mirror who published it in the English press. Now they were quoting Calcio Mercato out in Italy. Now neither newspaper, neither had a reliable journalist putting his name to it. So at this point you're saying, hmm, question marks. But out in the Spanish press as well, Coutinho was getting a hammering. They were saying that he had hit rock bottom, it was all going to pot for him out in Barcelona. What a terrible signing. It really wasn't going well for Coutinho and nothing has changed since then. If anything, it's got worse. As I said, he was booed by Barcelona fans at the Nou Camp during their 3-1 win over Rayo Vallecano and he was taken off before full time. And then the stories really started to emerge again in the mirror. And the journalist putting his name to this was John Richardson. And I'll be honest, I've got no idea who John Richardson is. I know who James Ducker at The Telegraph is, Gianluca Di Marzio, Jason Burt, Mark Ogden, Samuel Luckhurst. There's a lot of established journalists in the United scene who have some, or at least some credibility, some more so than others. John Richardson, I've got no idea who he is. So it really makes me question where these stories have originated, other than maybe in somebody's head, maybe John Richardson's head. So for me at this point, looking at the rumours, it feels more like a marriage of convenience more than anything else. And by that, I mean, it's good for Coutinho that these stories are coming out. Maybe it will stir up and scare Barcelona into playing him more, getting more game time. A little bit of cat and mouse between Coutinho and his agent and their team and Barcelona. That's what it feels like, rather than anything else. Because Coutinho to United, I mean, really? Would he be a good signing for Manchester United? Would you want him at Manchester United? No. No on so many counts. Two mainly. First of all, he played for Liverpool. He's an ex-Scouser. Why the fuck would I want him playing in a Manchester United shirt? Sure, he's not up there with Luis Suarez and Steven Gerrard in my all-time hated Liverpool players list. And I think the only bad, really bad memory I've got that Coutinho gave me was that goal in the Europa League at Old Trafford. But almost for that alone right off the idea of a transfer to Manchester United. Goodbye. But not only that, he doesn't fit United's needs at the moment. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is building this team and it's clear where we can see the weaknesses in attack. For me, that's a right wing and maybe you could argue as a backup striker. I don't really agree with that. That's what Gary Neville said, which I did in a video earlier this week. Make sure you check that out. But we don't need a number 10 like Coutinho. Somebody who can play either a deeper midfield or as a number 10, a possession-based midfielder who plays intricate football. We need a right winger, someone like Jadon Sancho, with real pace. That's what we need. Sure, we need to be strengthened in midfield, but I don't think Coutinho would be the answer there. We need a more defensive-minded midfielder if we're going to bring someone in. 
not a luxury player like Coutinho. So for the fact that he used to play for Liverpool and the fact that he just doesn't fit the right signings that we need, Coutinho to United, piss off. It makes no sense whatsoever for Man United. It makes sense for the newspapers that is coming out. But the full story on this is that there isn't a story. This is just another one of those transfers you feel, transfer rumours you feel that they're just filling the newspapers and using United's name to fill the columns. That's what it feels like to me. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm being cynical here, but looking at where these transfer rumours have come from, back in January when they started with Calcio Mercato in Italy, not sure what a Spanish Brazilian, a Spanish team's Brazilian player is going, to be is going to be covered correctly by an Italian newspaper, that makes no sense. But none of it makes sense. And it certainly wouldn't make sense for United to spend 100 million plus on Coutinho when we've got other positions that certainly need strengthening more than where Coutinho could fit in. So at this stage, Coutinho to Man United, it feels nothing more than an opportunistic story by a newspaper or a journalist preying on the fact that Coutinho is not having a good time at his club right now, a little bit frustrated, he's not playing that well. Automatically, that can create transfer stories. This feels like one of those. But what do you think about the whole story? And what do you think about the idea of Coutinho at United? Am I wrong? Is he the sort of midfield player who can then play alongside Pogba? And would you give a fuck if he played for Liverpool previously? Could you, over, could you overlook that? Or would it be maybe, maybe even a bonus that an ex-dipper decided to turn his back on them and then come to United? I don't think that's the case whatsoever, but maybe you'll disagree with me. Let me know what you think in the comments below, as always. As I said, if you're new to United People's TV, make sure you subscribe. But until next time, take it easy.